This is today's lab setup. In this lab session, I'm planning to install Veeam Backup and Replication on GTO Backup Windows-based virtual machine. If you need, you can install Veeam Backup and Replication on a physical computer. Open the web console. If you like you can use a remote console or remote desktop session. Download the latest version of the Veeam Backup and Replication installation image from the Download Veeam Products page. I have already downloaded the application ISO file and trial license file. Mount the installation image to the machine on which you plan to install Veeam Backup and Replication. Run the setup.exe file from the image. Click Install to start the installation process. At the Select Veeam Backup and Replication Component Step Interface, select Install Veeam Backup and Replication. At the License Agreement Step of the Wizard, Red Veeam License Agreement and click I Accept. At the Provide License Wizard, specify what license you want to install for Veeam Backup and Replication. I'm using a trial license downloaded previously for this installation. Take some time to validate the license file. Click Next to continue. Waiting for the system configuration check. At the system configuration check step of the wizard, the setup wizard checks if the required software is installed on the machine. If some of the required components are missing, the setup will try to install them automatically. After the components are successfully installed, reboot may require. In this installation, there are no missing components and no reboot required. At the ready to install step of the wizard, you can select to install Veeam backup and replication with default installation settings or specify custom installation settings. To use custom installation settings, Click Customize Settings. The setup wizard will include additional steps that will let you configure installation settings. In this interface, you can select an account under which you want to run the Veeam backup service. At this step of the wizard, you can choose a database engine for the Veeam backup and replication configuration database. Specify a new or existing instance where you want to deploy the configuration database, and specify the authentication mode. At this step, you can specify the installation folder and where the write cache and indexing data must be stored. To change the default installation folder, click Browse option. At this step, you can customize port number values that will be used for communication between backup infrastructure components. At this interface, you can review the Veeam backup and replication installation settings and start the installation process. You need to wait some time to complete the installation.
Congratulations! You have successfully installed the Veeam backup and replication. Click Finish to exit the interface. And that concludes our step-by-step -step guide on how to install Veeam backup and replication. But wait, there's more. In our next video, we'll dive into configuring, initiate backup job and restoring process. Get ready to unlock a whole new level of backup and replication. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when our next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching and until next time stay secure.